Thank you. Yeah, simple question. You called it clean disruption. Yes. Um, you're talking about 80% fewer cars potentially if you combine these technologies. Um, what does that mean for one, carbon emissions? Yes. And two, what does it mean for building roads? Should we be building more roads? What do you think? <laughs> the, so, so, so the answer, the answer is that um, self-driving cars are better drivers than we are already. Uh, they don't need that much space. So, the 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 research that that we have so far say that self-driving cars are four times more space efficient than we are than than, than we need. So, essentially, we're going to have an extra. 80% of the highways that we have built available, right? So we're gonna have fewer cars. They're better drivers than we are. They're gonna be more space efficient. So 80% of the parking space, we're not gonna need. Maybe 80% of highways, we're not gonna need. Um, so do we need to be building super highways right now? Well, not if you want, if you're looking at 10, 15, 20 years, right? Uh, Um, so that's the answer to your question. I, you know, I'm, I'm the messenger. I'm not the decider, right? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And you asked about carbon, right? So essentially, when we have a world that's 100% solar and wind, essentially carbon emissions are not going to be an issue. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm very confident that these curves are going to happen. Uh, carbon will still be emitted uh, by niche applications. Um, you know, gas, we're, we're going to need to substitute natural gas because it's used f to make fertilizers. There are other ways to make fertilizers that, that are non-carbon, non-methane producing. Um, agriculture is still, you know, a major part of uh, greenhouse gases, but the three major 85% of all emissions come from coal, natural gas, and oil, and essentially they're all going to be obsolete because of the clean disruption by 2030. Thanks, Tony. If you were um, a policy advisor working for the city authority on how oh, to bring the where policy advisor working for the city council um, and help trying to help bring this about, what would be your advice um, to such a person? <laughs> 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 Can I run for office in New Zealand? Is that, is that what you're asking? Um, so look, I think that the early adopters of these technologies have a chance at creating an ecosystem that is going to make them, uh, that's going to generate new companies, new businesses, and so on and so forth. Um, so you know, my advice to city council would be, look, quickly pass regulation to open up to self-driving cars, to you know basically tear down the, the 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 regulations that work against uh, solar and wind, and yeah, basically I, I would make the grid more of an internet plug and play where anybody can generate, anybody can sell. I would you know make it. Uh, EV friendly, I would make it self-driving car friendly, um, and I would build an ecosystem around that. I mean, this thing, um, you know, the EV market has 100x to grow. The solar market has 100x to grow. It's going to need a lot of software and sensors and, and so on and so forth, and the early adopters are the ones who have a chance at creating the Googles and the Ubers uh, and so on of this clean disruption. So that would be my advice. Let's go up to the back on that side, Laura, see if we can spread the questions around. There's a, there's a sort of arm about halfway up. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hey, thank you. Uh, my name's Jimmy Green. Um, I wonder, you, you're talking about carbon emissions really coming down to zero, but we haven't talked about air travel at all. Can you say anything about air travel, or, or is, that, is that just not part I'm of the sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't, what? Air travel. Air travel. Um, let's see. So you've heard of solar impulse, right? Solar impulse? 
Yeah, so Solar Impulse is a, um, I saw it in Abu Dhabi a couple of months ago before it took off. Essentially, it's an airplane the size of a 747 that's powered by solar and solar only and uses lithium ion batteries uh, and it's going around the world, essentially. Um, so, you know, this is the beginning of a disruption, pun intended, from below uh, of the air travel industry. Uh, it's not there yet. It's got a ways to go. Uh, we need, um, so for the clean disruption to happen in the auto industry, we don't really need breakthroughs. All we need is this technology cost curve to keep going down. For air travel, we need breakthroughs in, we need higher density uh, batteries. Uh, especially for longer uh, flights, we need higher density batteries. So essentially it's gonna take a little longer than, than the transportation industry. We'll get there, but it's gonna take a little longer.